Hello everyone, this will be a tutorial on the installation and setup of PTC Creo Parametric. Now I will admit that the installation of PTC products tends to be a little bit more complex than your average install, so we often get requests to demo the install itself. So I put together this, this comprehensive video on everything you need to know to get up and running. So let's begin. So before you install any software, you first need to get this order fulfillment letter from PTC. Now it'll look exactly like this. You'll get in your email after PTC processes your order. So that'll take a couple days. Um, we recommend you wait until you get this letter before you do anything else. So once you get this letter, there'll be some critical information you need to write down and keep for yourself. So that will be your customer number, your service contract number, your sales order number, your site number. Now these numbers are very important because in future support requests that you open, they'll ask for your service contract number, or if you want to install additional products, they'll need your sales order number for this particular sell, uh, purchase. So once you have these numbers written down and you have this in a safe place, um, go ahead and create your ptc.com account. Now some of you may already have an account, so you can disregard this first part, but for, you, for those of you who don't, I'm going to show you how to create a new account. So you want to go over to ptc.com, go to my account and the customer support login, go to create an account, and here there's a form where you can fill out basic information like such as your name, your email, your company's address, your phone number, and importantly, the service contract number and the sales order number. So it'll ask you to supply one of the following pieces of information for verification. Now these numbers are the ones listed in your order fulfillment letter right here. So put one of those in and get registered. Now once you're registered, you can install the software package in several different ways. The easiest way is in your order fulfillment letter, there's a direct link to whatever you purchase. So if it's Creo Parametric 3 or if it's MathCat, this is a direct link to where you can install that product. Another way to do it, which I kind of prefer because some people like to install Creo 3.0 along with Creo 2.0 and maybe they want to have Windchill 4.0 in there. So the best way to do that is to go to my account, Go to your login. Once you've registered, and go to login. And I already have an account on here. Go to the support tab. And then you're going to go to software downloads. I'll show you that once this loads. It seems to be taking a little longer than usual. So software downloads, the PTC software downloads. Now there's a few things you can do. You can download software by your sales order number, which is in your, in your letter. Or what I like to do is the download software updates. Now this is the full package of the of the application, so you don't have to worry about it being a small update. So click on the Creo Parametric, or you could also you know click on any other things you may have purchased. But here's Creo Parametric, and here are all the different releases of Pro E. So this is all Creo 3.0, 2.0, 1.0 uh, to Wildfire 4.0. So all these all these things you can install yourself. Um, all they will have a bunch of different date codes for, um, and these are all the latest versions of the application. So let's look at uh, Creo 3.0. This is for Windows 32 and 64 bit, most recent date code. And you can choose here if you're on Win32 or 64 bit machine, you hit download now. Now, this will take around 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes longer, sometimes less, depends on your internet connection speed. But it'll give you a big zip file that you'll need to deal with. It's about 4 gigabytes, so that sometimes will take a while. Now once that's done, I've already done it, I recommend extracting all the, the files onto your desktop in a nice neat folder. I've just called it Creo install. I should be I should have it on my desktop, I guess. I do not. Let me pull it over here. So this is the Creo install. So go ahead and open that. This is all the extracted files you have. So click on the setup.exe. and you have an uh, install assistant that looks like this. Go ahead and select a task. Now that could be install new software, upgrade existing software, but in this specific scenario, we're gonna install new software. So go ahead and accept your software license agreement. Now you can read through this and you can print it out. It's just up to you. Now we're gonna disregard this for a minute and I'll kind of get back to what that means. So what you first wanna do is go to the advanced license entry. Now this is where you input, input your sales order number, the same one you have on your fulfillment letter. So this is your sales order number. You will put this in here. Now I have a previous one I've used before, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. It's a little different from what my letter says, but we're gonna use this one for now. And the host ID setup button will highlight. So go ahead and click on that. Now this is very important. You'll be given a drop-down list of your machine IDs. 
Now there's, it gives you two options here and it kind of depends on how many different components you have in your machine. But we recommend, we highly recommend you choose the Ethernet connection machine ID. The reason for this is because your Ethernet port will always be turned on and this is a way that PTC directly communicates with your computer. It's a little different than what you might be used to but PTC will look directly at your computer's physical address and link the license file to that. So if it can't find your wireless card, for example, it, Creo will not work for you. So in some cases, if you're you know, do, working on Creo in the park, your wireless cards will go to sleep, hence turning off, and it won't be able to communicate with PTC. So your Ethernet port will always be turned on, will always be physically turned on. So that's why we recommend choosing that as your machine ID, or they call it host ID. So just verify your port 7788, and this will be the host name or the, comp the name of your machine, and hit install licensing. Now this will take a couple minutes. You first need to actually log in, so go ahead and do your login here. I think that was wrong. Okay, there's my login. So this will take one to five minutes. They're going to process what you just input as your sales order number. It's sending directly, it's talking to PTC directly right now. And they will send you an email within five minutes with your license file. So you're going to have to wait a little bit for this. We'll be back when that, when that, when I get one. Okay, so as you can see now that the status is currently successful and that the license summary popped up and the status is available for my license. Now sometimes this is not always the case. Sometimes it can be a little finicky and the status will say something like unreachable, unreachable or unavailable. So if that happens, in that case, you're going to want to go ahead and remove it for the, for the time being. and. You will, ha you will have gotten an email from PTC within that five minute time before they said success. And the email will look a lot like this. So it'll have a license file in it, lm underscore some number dot txt. And we always recommend you saving this email and definitely saving the file somewhere on your computer where you can locally access it and reference it to see what you have and your computer will sometimes need to locate this file. So make sure you save this in a place that you can easily access it. What I recommend is make a folder on your C drive and just call it PTC, something, someplace you can easily access, it's called PTC. What you're going to want to do is rename your file license.dat. Now this is a location where you can also store your config files, such as I do here, but, um, you, but for now we're just going to store our license file in here. You want to make sure you save as type all files, otherwise it's going to save as a .txt extension after .dat. So save as license.dat, save it in there. Now we're going to imagine that we had an error that said status unreachable, and this happens every once in a while, so don't, don't freak out if it does. All you do is you're going to go into your PTC folder that you just created with your license file that I have here, and you're going to drag your license file into this license summary. Now sometimes it can be finicky, and sometimes the status will come up as unreachable again. That's okay. Go ahead and remove it and keep dragging it in. Some, at, for example, see it's, it's unreachable right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it, I'm going to try dragging it in again. Sometimes it takes a couple times to, to locate it. Great, so now it's available. And as you can see, this is the port with my host name. So we're going to hit Next. So these are all the applications that we can install. So as you can see, we're installing Creo, and you can also choose to do MathCAD. There's a bunch of different utilities, and you can also enable diagnostic data to be sent to PTC. So what a lot of people miss before they hit the install button is this customize button. Now this is very important because this is where you choose what additional features are installed with your application. So for example, you can choose different languages to, to work with Simulate, with MathCAD. Um, that's, that's generally what most of these are. But for parametric, people miss the command configurations. This is where you add in your startup applications, your startup extensions. So just how you start your computer and you set certain things to start up on launch, this is also where you configure the startup applications for Creo. So you'll, go to the, you'll edit the configuration and as you can see here on the left is a long list of applications and extensions that you may have bought with Creo. Sometimes this could be a lot less than what I have here. I just happen to have all the extensions available, but sometimes you only have a few. What a lot of people like to do is Flexible modeling seems to be very popular, so we're going to go ahead and push over the flexible modeling under this. You can always do anything anything you want to do. Interactive surface design is another one. So what we recommend is you spend some time going through this and figuring out what you want to start on the startup of Creo. 
it won't necessarily slow down your launch so we recommend you just go ahead and choose the ones you're going to want and what you're going to utilize throughout your use of, of CAD design so make sure you spend some time kind of looking through these there's a lot so spend some time here after you're done hit OK and this is the this is the name of your configuration hit OK and then now you can go ahead and hit install now this installation can take anywhere from 20 minutes to sometimes a few hours. It really depends on how fast your machine is working. Sometimes the installation assistant can be slow. Sometimes it can be finicky. Sometimes you'll see the, the bars stall at a certain percent for a few minutes or 30 minutes. What I recommend is just be very patient. Maybe stand up and, and go do something else while this installs because it, it, it does stall sometimes and it does lag every once in a while. So don't get impatient and cancel it mid-installation. If it does stall for more than you know a few hours, then you can go ahead and restart the installation. But we've never seen this happen. We have seen it on multiple occasions stall at, for example, 48% for 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So just let it do its thing. It'll, it'll take some time. Um, it's going fast for me because I've done this before and I have some files already on my computer. And usually you'll see a long list of applications that you'll be installing. These are usually really minor ones that aren't too big, but for now I'm just installing the, the Creo Parametric application. Okay, as you see the installation is complete, so we're going to hit finish. Now you will get some icons on your desktop, as you see with most applications that look a lot like this. Now these other ones, some of these other ones are just part of the PTC Creo suite, but you can disregard them for now. This is PTC Creo Parametric that we're going to open and test out to make sure everything we did worked and is, is up and running. Okay, and our Parametric has started. Now this is what it'll look like. It'll have a resource center, and you can go ahead and close that. And just basic basic news on on the on the CAD industry and this is what Creo Parametric looks like so you can go ahead and play with this if you have any issues during your installation or any issues after your installation you can go ahead and contact the 1-800 number for technical support at PTC they can help you they can help walk you through some of the installation parts that might, might be tricky for you or confusing if you have any errors pop up go ahead and contact them they'll definitely help you as much as they can so that's a resource you can definitely leverage and we recommend that you leverage. So I hope this video was helpful. We'll be putting out some more videos talking about Creo Parametric and some of its utilities. But for now, we hope you have a good day.